Hey everybody, the goal today is to fix that mud hole. I've got some uh, tamarack that I'm going to use to corduroy it. I've, I've got it all worked up by running through it. It's not just a water hole, now it's a mud hole. And I'm hoping that uh, everything just binds together. When I get it up kind of level, then I've got some uh, drain pipe that I'm going to put across it. Some corrugated drain pipe. Uh, then I've got some 4x6 tamarack out there that been out in the lumber pile for years since we cut the tamarack off of here. We'll lay that along the, to protect the corrugation and then I'm going to start trying to find dirt to dig to uh, put over top of all of it. And hopefully that perennial, biannual, whatever water hole there will be a thing of the past. There's a slight drainage that goes through there, and uh, there's a bottom to it. I got stuck yesterday with a side-by-side, -side, but that's only two-wheel drive. Actually, one-wheel drive when I got it stuck. So, uh, here we go. I might add that I forgot two important things this time. I have my logrite arch. I have a logrite lumber cart. I do not have a cant hook with me. I brought the sawmill and didn't bring a cant hook with me. Or a hook a -roon. Next time. But that means I ought to go home. Oh, and one more thing. The mosquitoes and the black flies, they're here. And it's supposed to be in the 80s and humid today, so it don't matter. I'm going to get done. That'd have been awesome, wouldn't it? For you. This mud stinks here too. I know. Well, which makes me happy that it's not just the mud up by the cabin.
I'm all right. I sure stirred up the black ones. <laughs> And then you're putting dirt on top of this? Yeah. Where it's really low here, we'll put the, now that this is up just slightly above level, we'll the put tube. them tubes in. I've got them old 4x6s that are on them stickers out there. Yeah. We'll put them beside it and between the two tubes. That way they're protected. And then just start putting dirt on top of it, I guess. I may drive over this with the quad a few times. Maybe. Put a couple of... I used them at the beginning because they're treated. Yeah. To kind of contain it. Because those won't probably ever rot. At least in my lifetime. I have to go into town and see if I can find an eyeball. Is this what they used to call corduroy? Yep, corduroy. Well, that black fly just entered my optical cavity. <laughs> Getting technical, aren't you? Couldn't remember the word for eye. But you remembered optical? Yeah. That was when you get old. Get senile in. You're not senile either. Nope. I thought this might be an appropriate time to show this beautiful little cemetery that's just down the road from us. This time of year, the I think it's called creeping flocks. It's beautiful. <laughs> sort of timber in here. I see that. That's so green. That's a treated 4x6. Yeah. <laughs> We had a malfunction. Busted that bolt that holds the pulley that the cable runs through. So I either got to get another bolt or uh, come up with a different solution. Came down to uh, get an eye bolt in town and there's a freighter going by. That looks like one of the big boys. Probably a thousand footer. Pretty day. Short trip to town, back in business. I feel like I should dance or something.
It's time to go take a shower and go get some Uperman fish. To be continued. Uperman salad bar. I'm gonna have me some of that butterscotch stuff. Jalapenos. Jalapenos. on the salad bar and we're taking our fish home to make sandwiches for a couple of days. No, 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 come here. Come on, come back here. Come here. Sawyer, come. Getting there. Tomorrow, there's a rock pile about right there. Right about there. Um, I'm going to start hauling rock and putting it on the edges. It's coming. It's supposed to rain tonight. I imagine there'll be water down there, man. The bugs are fierce. I'm standing here talking to pfft, eating them. You can see them on the screen. Um, anyways, I'm going in. Once again, no hat. It was 81 degrees, 356 percent humidity, something like that. So, uh, oh, look at the bugs. It's starting to look like a road instead of a trail. See ya. There goes Jeff out to inspect the work we did yesterday after six hours of rain. And it's starting to rain again. Yeah, this is nice here. Got some water there. I know it needs a little bit of fill. 
but we've had a lot of rain. In fact, I got to get this camera out of the rain, so uh, I'm okay with it. <coughs> well, what'd you find? Looks pretty good. Does it? Dry and solid. It's solid all over, but you know, I didn't grade it out or anything. I was still working on it. So. Yeah. Start grading harder. These rocks here are left over from when they, uh, Pete's Uncle Eugene did the infill between the piers on the cabin. Probably 20 years ago, I stacked the rocks over here because they were in the yard underneath a piece of plastic or something like that. Now they got to use, they had dirt and everything else. Yeah. Uh, let's call that good. Ho, 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 ho! What? Ho, 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 ho! What? You'll see. Okay. You will see. Putting stone. Look at there. Yep. Ha! I think we better call that a load. Mm -hmm. this Where's the guys? Harley Sawyer! Come here, dogs. Come on! Ray, if you're watching, I know I don't win, but we do have rocks. Well, I guess we'll call this trail the corrugated trail. Corrugated? No. Let's try that again. Alrighty, we got the corduroy trail done. Glad to have this one done. That was a lot of work. Wildflower and I spent three days hauling rock, hauling dirt, hauling logs. Rotten logs, heavy tamarack, still heavy, but uh, we're done. I'm glad we're done. And I can walk up that trail now with tennis shoes on. I can. There's going to be some more, but this was the big one. And uh, now Sister Linda can walk to her deer blind in the fall without uh, waders or stepping stones or balancing on logs. I think she'll uh, enjoy hunting this fall a lot more and not having to avoid the water. So I'm glad this project is done and thanks Forest Reform members for all the help on that topic. Um, forget the name of the topic, something culvert. But uh, Mike Belvin, Swamp Donkey, Walnut Beast, all of you that commented it was 
it was helpful. Help help me form ideas, and I think this will work. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. <laughs>